against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to grow the whole band's here and we came to move. Yeah, right. Jacket, cause we're turning up the heat. I wanna see you clapping when you get about your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat. Watch out now, baby. Watch out now. Yeah, we are here today in Robin Island. We just left uh, the Vienna waterfront on the road. And we're towing our first fix. Rubber duck up today, so we're going to take it up to the sea drive. The nice thing about this rubber duck is it's got a first big hole, so you can see the fish, you can see the reef that you're drifting over, and actually make your experience. Baby, I feel real good, and I wish I would! It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good, baby! such a game changer for the industry. You can interact with the environment that you're fishing in. So dropping your bait down, looking for that red roman or that hottie that you want to you want to catch, selected fish, bang, on. Also in the sense of a search and rescue environment. And if you're looking for any fouled anchors or you're looking for something that's been dropped overboard, perfect vessel for that. You look straight down through the hole. The transparency boat is an excellent all-round tender. It's a great vessel for the kids and the family to have fun on the lagoon, on the river, on the inshore, around rocks and reefs, playing with the environment, seeing the fish under the boat. 
can you just imagine using this boat for spearfishing? Seeing your mate dive down and shoot the fish below you. <laughs> It'll be so insane. Now, I'm super excited about this little boat. I can't wait to take it out to sea again. Uh, I think next trip we need to go run around some more reefs on a clear day and check out the structure and different species that we have around Cape Town. Cross the lifeline there, Captain. <laughs> how insane it is when we drive up onto the bait fish now with the seal. You see the bait and the seal coming in under the hull. Really? Yeah, oh, very cool. Very, very good. Yes, that thing's a lot of fun, eh? <laughs> Today, yeah, this is my weapon of choice. I went fishing the Saragossa 6000 by Shimano with a 30 pound suffix 832 braid and a Shimano Travella 7 foot medium heavy rod. Uh, with a little keel spoon. Um, yeah, this is a great outfit for inshore game fishing or yellowtail, katonko, um, any of those sort of species. I find the seven foot medium heavy quite a nice rod, um, especially fishing from the boat because it's not too long, doesn't get in the way, <clears throat> and it's a nice short little flick stick. So pick up and cast very quickly uh, just to get on top of that fish. Yeah, cool. Check it out Shimano Saragosa with the Travella, seven foot medium heavy. Big ones as well, bro. Nice size fish. I hope we can get one. Okay, that was a nice class fish, Marius. That five, six kilo fish. Now I saw them swim under the bow as we approached. Just like that, they are gone. Fuck, bro. We've had a spear gun. I could have shot the thing. Cool, so yeah, we just um, hit our midday lull now, so the fish has gone down. Uh, while we driving around looking for more fish, I like to sort of clean up the ocean. If we see any bit of plastic bobbing around, just grab a gaff, gaff it, put it in your boat, chuck it in the gash, and uh, dispose of it when you get home. We found a piece of red, I don't know, it looks like a crate, something plastic floating here. So we're just going to pick him up, put him on board. Imagine that in your props. Hit your gearbox or something. You got some serious damage to your outboard engine. It's no good. A good fish. Maybe six kilo mark. <laughs> there we go. We got lunch. Woo! <laughs> it's a good fish. Very nice yellowtail. Okay, we got some more yellowtail coming up around the boat. So I'll get the hook out on this one and see if we can get another one. That's a good fish, bud. Yes, please. Oh, my sack. <laughs> Not the one for the bride. I'm afraid. I just checked the fish um, chasing your fish. And I passed it behind you and bang, I went tight straight away, bro. We're going to fight now. Oh, he's chasing, he's chasing! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a strong fish, bro. Very strong. So we're actually now on our way home, and uh, the skipper spotted a nice piece of fish feeding on the surface. So we made a little turn to the port side, and we are, we came across a nice patch of feeding yellowtail. So we've just gone, we've just gone double up, just landed a fish at the back, and um, yeah, obviously I'll fight you on the bow. It was a nice fish, very strong fish. A lot of big, deep head shakes. There he is, just sort of kind of, there he goes. <laughs> I think it's bigger than the other one. Okay, there's a gap. Nice. Woo! Yeah, baby! 
Yeah, here's our, our yellow tail for the day. Um, we're just going to take off one fillet of this fish. We're going to whack it on the gas bra, just so we can feed the boys in the boat today. We'll run the blade along the bone, along the spine, so we can try to get as much meat off as possible. Looking for that spine again. A nice fatty piece of meat. This. It's got it's still got a little bit of the rib bone in it. Put that on the bra. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice and fatty. Uh, it's tasty. Very delicious. Keeping it simple, we're going to just uh, put a bit of salt on, a bit of pepper, and we're just going to put a splash of olive oil on. Are you ready then, Nick? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's going straight on the bride, just like this. We just cut a few little pieces of sashimi here. Not the greatest of cuts, but we <laughs> make a plan with what we've got here. Shoot a little bit of soy sauce in the corner there. Some wasabi. I think this is actually horseradish. And there you are, fresh yellowtail. It was swimming about, I don't know, an hour ago, two hours ago. Mm. That's beautiful. The ginger you actually use to cleanse your palate between different pieces of sushi. A lot of people eat it with it, eat it with it, it's actually dirt. Ooh, our yellow tail is coming along nicely there. You can smell it through the camera. Can't wait to eat. Mm. Most comfortable ride in the world. Mmm, grill. Born up a tree, gentlemen. Grab some chop. That's a fridge, yellow tail. 